What's up? <laughs> special guest from Shenanigans. We're totally off the rails already. I know. We this are. has been a chaotic totally Thursday and, night. And so for the last hour, Drew has been fighting technology. We appreciate him. It's Thursday. And we've been full of one-liners. And yes, we are... Uh, it's, it's been, a, it's been I, crazy. It's Every Thursday, this, everything's great technology-wise. You know, Thursday from 11 p.m. till Thursday at like 9.30 the next yep. week. And, and then, then it's totally... <laughs> Uh, How's this <laughs> All right, so we got lots of great people on. Who have we got on tonight? Let me go back up. They've been uh, live. They've been blowing chatting up. since like Lord Yeah, so. Uh, Telex. I, Tom R was first in. I'm glad yeah, to see Tom. Telex here. Kato's here. Telex. Eric. Right. Uh, Bob H. Bob H. Bob H. Everwin. Oh, yeah, Eric. We will see you there. Travis. Faircloth. Uh, Everwin. Mark Broad is here. Yeah, he's here. Well, he's right he's here. here. Weird. Can't Sussman. get rid of him, right? Can't get rid of Sachi man. Has an he loves the, He likes our seventy-four and So, so Rob's here. Drinking. <laughs> and hey, and by the way, anybody it's that was watching Rob's show thought. earlier, if you're coming over from Rob's show, no comments on the reveal on how it all panned out. I need to watch the replay on that, Rob. I want to see what you had to say and how you ranked those four McKellens. But I don't want to see it in the chat window. So keep that stuff. Well, the number four. Was, DF Newby, good to see you back. Number four. Shut up. What? <laughs> How many glasses deeper are we? Oh, Actually, you know what? We're just getting started. Yeah. This is like number two. We had technical difficulties, and we were moving some stuff around. And, yep. uh, and then my glass was empty for a long time because I couldn't figure out what I wanted to drink, and then they just started pouring stuff. He got stuff. caught sideways. He doesn't even know what he's drinking. What do you think it is? Or maybe. It's, it's that Johnny Walker oh, uh, Island, Green. Yeah. Island Green that Drew picked up on a cruise. But it was... It's, it's a big yeah. bottle. It's a tall boy. Who's drinking that? I think we all are. <laughs> I'm, not, you're still I'm still in the very first class. So, yeah. I, I guess I just wasn't thinking of a, a a smoky whiskey with that, and so it kind of took me off guard. But it's it's actually kind of nice. I'm not upset about it. Probably shouldn't have. Not uh, sure if you guys know about that, but look what showed up in our mail. Put that Training up front. C. Training and C. Training C. And we appreciate all that. The coin. Drinking this. Coin. Cool coin. We're trading coins. Put yeah. it out I there. Have a look to see the uh, the side. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, they, they, they're nice coins. Yep. Very cool. Absolutely. So Number 40. It is Thursday. Welcome, guys. Cheers to all that. Cheers, cheers to everyone. We I know. also Thank want to... Uh, Drew. <laughs> Drew, you're the man. Cheers well, to everybody. And I want to take a quick two-second moment of silence as there is now nobody left to bring the beer back from Texarkana to the Thirsty Boys in Atlanta. Burt Reynolds, the bandit, died. Uh, one for my homie. Got it. One for the homies. Um... <laughs> I know everybody really loved him in Deliverance. <laughs> Squeeze! <laughs> of, oh, of all the movies you could think of, that yeah, was the one that yeah. sticks well, in your that's head. That's the right? only one that was critically acclaimed. Now, now we know. Now we know. Right? There's the rest of the story. <laughs> he was not known as a good actor. Just hey, he, Richie Z. Hey, he was in some fun movies. Hey, Richie. True. What's up, buddy? True now. So, what do we got going on tonight? We, we, we need to talk about this week's review, which was a, a ball manic. ton of good comments on that bottle. So, once we, uh, once we get into the show here and get past this warm-up bottle, we'll, we'll pour that out and talk about it a little bit. Um, There's just a Bourbon little bit Shenanigans left. brought a little surprise. We got hiding behind the mic here. You can't see it yet. So, hopefully, Tom, Tom R., you got to put the crack pipe down and take gonna, this yeah, out. You're going to have to put the crack pipe down. It's for real. Um, and he gets that. He knows exactly what we're talking about. Um, <laughs> hoagie! Hey, it's a hoagie cheers, sighting. Hey, cheers, I, hoagie. A hoagie sighting. Hot diggity dog. Good man. to see you. And I see Logan's is there, too. Uh, a lot of people coming over from Rob's show. Rob, I want to say thanks, man. You, you're uh, the man. 
Dude, you shouted out this show so many times on your show. I, I almost felt bad. I'm like, you know, it was great. But I, I had a really good time, and I wanted felt to. Dirty. Yeah, I was, like, I was gonna say, ah, pimp this out so hard, we owe him money. I know. <laughs> we're gonna have to go back and watch it because I was getting into the whole McAllen thing, and I was like, oh, well. Okay. What really was upsetting me was everyone is basically saying that edition one is one the best. We don't have. The, the one that we one don't have. We don't have. Well, of course, <laughs> it's the best because now you can't get it. Exactly. So well, you can yes. for you know. How much million. you got? Hey, Rob, 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 how much you have left of that one? <laughs> He's got a full bottle. He won't open it. I wouldn't open it either if I well. No. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we would. would. <laughs> you know why? Because we open everything. Yeah, so Hoagie, in your comment, I told you if you would have spoke up about wanting some Balmanic before we got to this level, we could have given you some, but she ain't going to make it. No, <laughs> that's barely enough for me. It's going down. It's going down. I'm actually have more than have it last that again. It was, it's been a while since we uh, had it, technically. Yeah. Uh, I know we just released it this week, but it was I was really surprised by this class. It was yeah. really, really good. There were a lot of good comments uh, that this bottle brought up about independent bottlers. Not, I mean, there was good comments about this particular bottle, you know, Balmenic, but the the whole IB, you know, and what people really think about it. How, there's a lot of guys and, uh, and gals out there now that are, are really finding good values, yeah. you know? Yeah. Well, I think that's the cool part about the independent bottlers. I mean, you number one, you can find bottles from distilleries that you can't find any other way. Right, because they're you not know, putting their own bottles on. Right, because they're going into blended whiskeys. Right. And so the only time you ever get to taste them is from something like this. Yeah. You know, and then, you know, for from a value standpoint, I mean, you find great whiskeys at substantial discounts yeah. all day long because it's an independent bottler versus, you know, what the distillery releases. So... Yep. There's, still win, win the yeah, right. there's still oh, some there's still expense. some. I mean, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. You're still going to pay right. money. So you the know, question but, is, do does the independent bottler just buy the cask and then just hold on it to depends. it for a certain amount of time, or how does that work? It depends. With on there's independent yes, bottlers. and yes. What? Just that water, please. So sometimes they're going in and buying casks from the distillery or from other other independent bottlers and bottling them, and other times they're taking their casks in. So the bigger they ones are taking their casks in, right. having, having them filled, filled and, they, and they don't necessarily them. have to hold on to them for a long period of time. They can literally just buy one yeah. so, and bottle it. Like right? Vine and Table yes, we, has been putting exactly. out all kinds of stuff because he went to uh, Signatory, right? Yeah. Um, and, and was just right. walking through their warehouses where they're keeping all of their whiskeys that they've got from all these other distilleries. And he's buying casks from them and having them bottle it for... Vine table, yeah. For vine and table exclusively, so it's that cask. Yeah, but it's going to be under that independent bottler's label. It'll be a, as, with a store pick of yes, vine and table. Correct. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Correct. Okay. So, so you could go over and say, "I would like to buy a whole cask of." I don't know. Let's call it Bal Blair. <laughs> Do that. Could be anything, but we'll we'll call we'll it Bal Blair. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, uh, but you no, can go do seven fifty, uh, seven fifty okay. ml. And you, you know what? Now that we know, uh, you need to let us know. Well, you know, if there are things that are just being bottled for North America that you're you're interested in, you know, we're interested in it too. <laughs> so right? speak up. You know, there's a good chance that we can acquire it. And this was a fun bottle anyway. So the key is, hey, um, I don't know if you saw this. Everwind knows a place in D.C. where you can get a dram. Of Mac One for sixty bucks. Damn, sixty bucks. Only sixty bucks. I need to bucks. cross paths with him next oh, time I go to DC. Anyway, the next time I go to DC, I'm gonna cross paths with everyone in Telex, and we're all three gonna get together, and anybody else in the DC area, and we're gonna crash. <laughs> <the back road. laughs> it's gonna be a mini dummy con. Hey, uh, Julian Potts. Hey, rest in peace to all those bottles we promised never to touch. I never promised that. <laughs> Some do last if, longer than others. If, if you're coming into this basement, you're going to get dirty. I wonder if the other McCallums eventually... Hey, yeah, Lee. Too. Is Lee here? She's on. Huh. So Lee and her husband, Mark, are in Tennessee. They're far closer than they normally are. Um, and they're there for a music festival, I believe, but they happen to stumble into an SMWS partner bar tonight, and she's been Facebook messaging me pictures and I gotta tell you, they're drinking some good scotch tonight. If they're not feeling good, I mean, I was really happy for them, and then I started to get a little bit jealous, and I'm like, all right, that's enough. All right, that's enough with the pictures. <laughs> Quit. Oh, uh, but she might have a hookup for us. We might be taking a road trip down to, to Tennessee. Who knows? I Magic mean, bus. Yeah, right on. All right, who's ready to pour this Belmenic? Oh yeah, I gotta finish this uh, this J Dub off. Hey, Stephen, thank you very much, Stephen Sussman. Mm. You know, super chat to us. Thank you very much, sir. Good times. Right, let's Ours go cheers. Going slow. There we go. Yeah, Thanks, sir. Go. Appreciate you. 
So now it's, it's weird. Now Eric is actually imitating Nightbot. He's like putting on Nightbot's clothing little, uh, and like yeah. taking over. No, he is not. That is Nightbot. Yeah. yeah. He said. He said Nightbot says, "Hey, did you click the like button yet?" Which is a good point. <laughs> I have to say, Eric slash Nightbot, click the like button. We've got We're ready for 50 this. people on, yeah. and we got four likes. Now, how does that work? Moose we said it. wheelhouse. That means someone's drinking. Uh, well, wheelhouse it up. Wheelhouse. You only got water. I yours. got water. <laughs> <laughs> I got some of that. That doesn't count. Do you? Did you already get, get some? some of that. Yeah. Oh, yeah That's my little splash. Yeah. So Pass her back. Up. Yes. So um, we're getting into the review that we posted, right? So here's the ball, Manic. Mm. Um, go over the stats on the bottle real quick again, Sean. All right. So uh, this is a 16 year old ball, Manic. Uh, distilled in 93. Mm. So do the math on that. Uh, this is a 46% uh, ABV, and and connoisseur's choice, which it, is Gordon uh, McPhail. Gordon McPhail, right? Yep. Um, and that's pretty much. It doesn't have anything on here as far as like. I don't think it has anything about the cask or anything like that on there. Um, so I'm guessing it's. Uh, Where'd you pick this up? At? Bourbon. So this is. Uh, this was a vine and table purchase. So you want some of that, man? Fair hit. Yeah, 16. It's almost so, uh, actually, when I went in the store, um, I don't even remember what I went in to get, but it wasn't this. Uh, I had something, well, I had something specific that I went in to go buy. And, no, it wasn't Tamdu. I don't know what it was. Anyway, I was looking on the shelf because they've got a whole section of independent bottlers. Yeah. Which is cool. So, that's kind of the first place I go when I walk in that store. And they had. there was another bottle that I was actually looking at that we hadn't tried, and it I can't remember which one I was looking at, and I actually had it in my hand, and they had a, a little placard out next to this bottle, and it was only like 60 bucks, and it was one of those that I'm like, I've never heard of this distillery. Exactly. Um, I probably, you know, number one, if I've never heard of it, it probably means that it's pretty rare to find a yep. single malt uh, sitting on a shelf. Plus, it's 16 years old and it's only 60 bucks. So even if it's not that great, it was only 60 bucks. Yeah. So and the the placard that they had said that you know it's number one, it's pretty rare to find it, and number two, it's, it sounded like a, a really good scotch. Um, the box itself the, was uh, pretty pathetic. Well, yeah, I mean they, that's, that's their that's typical packaging, packaging fair, stuff though. is all pretty low key. Yeah. Uh, but for 60 bucks, uh, I threw down on that and and then I bought whatever other bottles that I went up there to get. But this one sat on the shelf for a little while. Um, it did. We, we opened it up and sampled it just to, I did anyway, just to kind of taste it and see what was up. But uh, it took us a while to get around to, to doing a review of it. But, uh, you know, I thought it was a really nice single malt. I wish that they bottled it as a single malt. Do you know where most of their uh, their distillate goes? Where where's most of their scotch go? Does it, uh, it's going somewhere. Yeah. yeah, I can't remember which... <clears throat> It's going into a specific blend, but I can't remember. Right. Yeah, it's I'll ending up somewhere, right? Uh, Richard Z.S. is Balmenica Spayside. It is it a Spayside. Is, yeah. It's right on the very southern edge of Spayside, but it is a Spay. It is a Spay on the River Spay. Yeah. Man, I forgot how good this is. It's it good. Is. So I get so, this, I get like apples and great like white grapes and that yep. kind of Even new fresh. white wine. Yeah. 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 Well, that was horrible. Yeah, that's bad, actually guys. a good call on that one. Um, by yes. the way, if you haven't, we've got some coins for sale. We've got uh, 32. Oh, is that what we're using tonight? Number 32 is what we're using tonight for um, I know where for my little... You ain't cool unless you got a coin. I got, I got the big glass tonight, so... So he can't use a coin. We, yeah, we actually have to make the decision. Do we want to use the whiskey hats or the challenge coins tonight or not? Because if you want to use them, then you got to get them with the regular right. Karen. When, where can you get them from? Scottsportdummies.com slash shop slash yep. coins. And they will be... Hand mailed by Andrew. I have been. I have mailed every. In fact, everyone that has ordered coin has a handwritten note for me. Thanks for the purchase. Oh, you know, the stamp so is nice. chemically engineered to the. Envelope. It is. It is <laughs> bonded. <laughs> chemically bonded with an epoxy blend. It's a two-part epoxy. That when the. You know, Getting crazy enough. Anyway, you should you should get coins. I'll tell you what. You know, we still have plenty left, but they're definitely going quick. Um, we're probably gonna start talking about batch two. Uh, or we, we're gonna uh, second, ah, second Rob, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> second fill. 
Throw Nothing. He's throwing oh, something Robbie. back. Come on, brother. Cheers, uh, Will House, man. Well, I'm calling 15 Canadian until it's like three dollars. I know, but he's just—it's <laughs> yeah. funny the way. Three dollars, you didn't. I know, I know. I'm kidding. Um, I'll take whatever. Back and forth. All we're so, doing is giving YouTube money. I know, right? <laughs> um, it is. It's YouTube's pleasant. loving it. It's yeah. malty. I, I get a little bit of heather right. on the nose. It's light. It's re- it's, this it's, be a it's very perfect nice. scotch it's, for blending because it's just like this this beautiful combination that that could base anything, and then you can yeah. add. Add a little smoke, or add a little uh, ruby fruits if you want to. Get that grape it, in It's there. heavy yeah. enough that yeah. it'll it'll hold up to yeah. some heavier flavors too. So I don't know, I'd love uh, it's to. a really nice scotch in its own right, but I can see why they you would use it as a base for a blend. Steven Sussman, I'm not sure if I've yeah. seen that well, name on there. Hey, Steven. Yeah, he's been here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's been here. Mm-hmm. Okay, yes. good. He um, I saw I, Bob made a comment. Uh, yes, Bob, it's about time that KB comes home from Scotland because he has been torturing us. The guy has drunk. He's been drinking 30 and 40 year old scotch. I mean, he's bringing back some 27, 28 year old what? Ford Ellen. Damn, if we only knew where he lives, we could go meet him. <laughs> <laughs> if he's got any of it left by the time we get there in December, it ain't gonna last. <laughs> no. Nope. Um, so, um, Bob Oso also asked a question about the tailored mi- milestone glasses that we have. Sean has one, right? So, he yeah. wants to know are they better than Glen Cairns? And, you know, it, I guess it's. I, I think it's personal preference. Yeah. You know, I, I personally like them just because. I think it lets you kind of get down in the glass a little bit better, for me, anyway. And it's a bigger um, pour. And it's a bigger pour. And it's pour. a bigger pour. <laughs> I do like that part, too. I'm not going to lie. Will House however, for Tom, his, his uh, quest failed early. Uh, and he joined the Scotch Club. Oh, excellent. Tom, Tom, Tom that's too bad. So, uh, i got to ask, are you out of practice? Is that the problem? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It's been a while since they did an update, right? <laughs> Just saying. It may take you a couple wow. days. Wow. Get it? So, oh man, good stuff. Um, a little premature completion. What? Wow, that was, that was <laughs> really, it was pretty bad. Wow, that's dad joke right Anywho, there. Um, so, that was dad joke. so Eric Wade also asked a question about if all four of us are going. So FYI, we are going to Kansas City. Um, right. No, we're going to Wichita, Wichita, Kansas. Wichita, Kansas. Thank you. Wichita. Which is a long way from Kansas Wichita. City. Wichita. <laughs> Where is everybody? <laughs> Wichita. 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 Like whiskey. Orange whip. Orange whip. Orange whip. <laughs> so October 19th and 20th, I think. Uh, it's just going to be Mark and I, actually. We're road tripping down to Kansas. Andrew had, uh, he wanted to go, but he had uh, fan stuff. Yeah, with, with kids and stuff. I'm going to be on vacation. He's going to be on vacation. So Well, and you know, and I've already met Eric. Eric. I met Eric in San Francisco, so, you know, there's no need to But go FYI, it's, <laughs> it's a Scotch Test Dummies five-year anniversary. Yep. It's a big deal. There's a couple of couple of events going on. We'll be there. Eric Wait will be there. Um, hopefully, some others will be there. Um, uh, ben from us. SMWS is so coming down from Chicago. Yep. Um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be really fun to celebrate five years with those guys. And uh, we got a couple They're things. We're getting close to ten thousand. We got a they couple things up our sleeve. Yeah. And we got a couple things up our sleeve to make it special for them. So it's yeah. going to be fun. Are they? If arms? I didn't have kids. It'd be so great. <laughs> Dang, you're a genius. Glass in each hand. Glass in each hand. <laughs> Double fisted. <laughs> So it's killing um, me not going, but because I, I, you know, part of what I saw was when the Whiskey Vault had their whiskey opening. They had some whiskey tubers on there, out there as well, and just the the connection you make when you actually see each other. You you and and Roy, if you go to Aquavite, Roy did a video on this. It was fantastic. Yeah, about, it was talking really cool. about how you almost Delicious. know each other it's really good just from YouTube, and then when you meet each other. It's just like you know each other. It's easy, because, right? Because you do. I mean, it, it's you know, it's like FaceTime. Thought you'd be taller. You know, we're, <laughs> we're, we're not. Not you know, Because we don't have like a a video persona different than our life persona. Thought you'd be bigger. Dead when you one. meet them, it's just like being on TV. So or being on the YouTube. So that's really fun. The YouTube. Thought you'd be bigger for a bouncer. <laughs> Get that all the time. <laughs> Comes. Oh my gosh. So we got some. Um, some yep. nice yeah, so what do we got going on? I, I want to talk. Yeah, the Belmenic is now oh, gone. So bad. we're going to we're gonna talk about, uh, we're going to get a couple things out here. Sean brought home uh, an interesting bottle. Yeah, Drew we'll probably just bust that open. An today. interesting oh, bottle. Yeah. We want to show yeah. those. Um, show them. We'll talk about them. <laughs> uh, Mike brought over something interesting that Tom's been begging him to bring over for a while. So that's behind the mic. Tom, now if that you we can guess it. Attention. Yeah, now the time's yes, here. So we'll, we'll get that out. Undivided like, um, attention. And then here in a few minutes. That may be why I, uh, I failed the quest early. I, I, I painted so. up some glasses. I sensed it. 
made them so they're blind, and then I'm gonna switch seats with the uh, with somebody or so I can place the scotch. You and I'm gonna pour taste. Um, three different scotches and pass it around, and we're gonna let these guys basically do a compare and compa- contrast, a blind comparison. Rank them, talk about them, nose them, drink them, whatever. I want to hear what you guys have to say about these three scotches. And then, you know, I'll reveal it. When I switch seats, I want the computer so that I can talk to everybody. They're going to know what's in the glasses. Um, but I want you guys to go through it, talk it out. I, I expect you guys to get them. I got high hopes. I got high expectations. But so it doesn't matter. Had, or? It doesn't matter if you get them or not. I don't know. There's something in, in, in my house. Obviously, you, you, oh, well, you, we have, that doesn't so, mean. It's right back there, brother. So, so what you're saying is we haven't <laughs> drunk it then. <laughs> Probably not. Hey, passion <laughs> drunk. Thanks for the Thank you, sir. Thanks for the Appreciate super chat. you. Wheelhouse. Um, so we're going to get into that and have some fun. I hope uh, I hope there's some interesting uh, commentary that goes on as you guys try to get I'm through I'm excited those. by how dark the color is already. Mm. <laughs> Look how dark that whiskey is. Right, so just, I spent a couple a minutes last art. night just, you know, pouring, making them so they can't see the color in them. But, uh, so what, what's the, what do we have next? Because I'm... Uh, you're we out. also have some scotch in the news, I think. Yeah, you yeah, want we to got that? a couple things, man. You want to so, talk about that now? You want to so, sit up while he does that? as you guys know, yeah, I get uh, updated sure. on a lot of just... stuff going on in the in the world of spirits, and one of the things that uh, I, I got two articles this week. One was talking about uh, the demand for whiskey, the worldwide demand for whiskey. Whiskey, not just scotch. Oh yeah, not just scotch. Okay. So, That's huge. Uh, American whiskey still strong. Uh, Jameson's driving the Irish whiskey market. Sales of Jameson were up 13%. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so that's Irish. that's pretty strong, man. They're not like backing to, down. I'd like to find out the breakdown of what Jameson. Uh, just Jameson, because they they break they broke it down by uh, like this article. Like, the style, the... like broke it down broke down Crown Royal into like the apple and the oh, vanilla no. oh, and okay. you know what wow. I mean. So when they say Jameson, they just they mean say Jameson. All of it, yeah. Yep. Okay. Right. So here's the thing that I thought was kind of interesting. Uh, demand for scotch has cooled a little bit. Really? No kidding. Yeah. You know what I like about that? Prices. Get the f- yeah, my <laughs> <laughs> right? Go somewhere else, man. <laughs> Bring that, the prospect. That's where we're at. So uh, scotch and Canadian whiskey, uh, the sales grew a little bit, but for, let's see, scotch... Uh, let's see, where was it? Uh, Canadian Club declined by 1.2%. Uh, Johnny Walker Black down 1.6%. Dewars oh, down 6%. Mm. Johnny Walker Red down 3.4%. Glenn Livet down almost 6%. Wow. So that's the... Price the price sells out of the market now. Well, that's the... The unfortunate thing is all of those are on the entry level, right? Right. So let's talk about article number two, which talks about the world's most go. expensive whiskeys. Uh, it's the other side of the coin. All of which it's, are single malt scotch. Exactly. Like, and it's not even a contest, really. Do they need uh, retail price? So, no, so this not. is for investment purposes. Right. Okay? Because so the, new- the top ten whiskeys, if you were going to be investing, uh, the McAllen Lalique. Uh, six, 65-year-old single malt scotch, and its sister, uh, the 62-year-old single malt. Oh, uh, made so it 62. So the number, the leak six, has leapt 42.5% to a subtle price point of $63,820. Is that, hey, wait a minute, is that a, an ML? Is that a 750 or a 70, 70 CL? That's 70, 70. That's a good price for 700 CL. It's CL. Not, no. See, if it was the 750 ML, I think that's... That's a deal. It's that, probably, that's a steal, really, yeah, right there. Yeah. I mean, I'm not doing the 750 uh, CL. No the way. 62-year-old you can pick up for a measly $52,000. Oh, that's all? Uh, Balveni, 50-year-old, comes in at number three. And comes uh, with a hell of a case, by the way. Yes, it I does. I saw how they make that case. Uh, so <laughs> that price is up 9.25%, up to 39000 so it's almost four thousand this it's year that it's gone paycheck. up. We could do that. So I mean, as far as an investment goes, not so bad. Okay. The Gordon and McPhail Mortlock, seventy-five year old. Oh my god! No way. Had a price Scotch drop. Rummies. It's only thirty-one thousand eight hundred fifty-four dollars. How many bottles of that is there? Seventy-five year old Mortlock. Yep. Did they forget? 
Probably. Yep. They had you, a building in the back. Or like, <laughs> well, I think it has a little. Anybody been in the shed out back in a while? Well, it's, I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> hey, what's it's this? A, it's a garden they fail. <laughs> so, so they knew they had the cast. Right. They sat on. I can't so believe it. So Glenfiddich Rare Collection, fifty-year-old single malt, solid eight percent rise, up to thirty thousand okay. dollars, just under. Uh, McAllen Fine and Rare. Uh, let's see. That sounds like retail. That one's up 6% to $30,000. Glenlivet Winchester Collection, 50-year-old single malt, uh, is up to $26,800. McAllen, 40-year-old, uh, is going up to $25,000. Bowmore, 43-year-old. I like that. First ever entrant from Isla on the list. Uh-huh. It, uh, I think we should get a bottle because it is the first one to yeah, get on the list. The average price has more than doubled in the past 12 months. Damn, Damn it. You should have picked it up last year. Going from 10500 to $25,000. Why Boy, didn't I, I invest you. in that? You know why? Bar. Because investing in scotch is bad for us. Because yeah, we drink it. Because we <laughs> The thing is, that's the thing. You can make money if you keep it a year. We can't keep right? it a day. You can't uh, sell dope if and you then smoke the, dope. <laughs> You smoke mine? <laughs> uh, the oh, number God. 10 on the list is the Highland Park 50-year-old. Uh, oh, God. That one is going, it, it went up 6.5%, uh, up to 22900 That sounds like the best deal. For interest, and by way of comparison, the most expensive Japanese whiskey generally available uh, goes for about $14,600. That's the 42-year-old from, uh, what's that? Yeah, it's that distillery. Curazawa. Yeah. Curazawa. That there you go. And uh, bourbon's top drop is the Redemption 36-year-old barrel-proof straight bourbon at 18000 Oh, Kato just asked about it, and there it was. <laughs> what? What's He's that? like, he asked about the Curazawa. That is crazy. That's funny, Kato. You had it, Kato. <laughs> no, no kidding. Okay. So, uh, you know, Scotch, if you buy the right bottles, will get you a return on your investment well, so if you buy the right bottles. McAllen is so in the news right now. You buy a, buy a high-end McAllen, you will be able to sell it for a yep. profit They have six really, months. really stepped up their game this did last I, year. Did I see that they have the new bottles have been released? They are marketing. They like are releasing all kinds of crazy stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. Here's the thing, though. I want to buy, if, yeah, if yeah. I'm going to buy a bottle that's on this list, I'm going to buy a bottle that if the price drops out and nobody wants it anymore... I'm still pretty cool with drinking it. You know what That's I mean? Like I'm cool with any one of those. I'm tell me you're not going to drink any one of those bottles. I, would, I, uh, I can tell you right now that if we had any one of those bottles on the bar, we would totally drink it. So here's the deal. <laughs> Santa has a great, great uh, yeah. idea. He says we should chip in. Well, we should do a GoFundMe for one of those bottles, get all of us to chip in, we'll meet somewhere, and we'll have a glass each and have one. A GoFundMe to fund buy a twenty. Five thousand dollar. Divide that up See, by how many people? How much? Is everybody, that, everybody gets one milliliter. One milliliter. Does that feel like a Guinness World Record kind of thing? The most people. Have one we could do that. We should lead that effort. Maybe there is something to the that. most expensive bottle of scotch ever. ever open. Crowdfunded. Crowd open. Exactly. Source. Uh, get in my belly. It's shared at one yeah. time. So I I thought that that list was pretty good, but it sounds like uh, the lower end scotch market's kind of cooling off a little bit. Right. Which may well, just lead to so, better single malts. You know what I mean? Mind. A lot of the scotch goes to blended scotches. You know what's going to be interesting is to see how Compass Box uh, works with this because they, they do I a lot think of they're a little things. untouchable right now. I think well, they're. Right I, now they are, but I mean. You no. Know. See, I, the, the thing is, scotch has gone up so much in the last three years. It's inevitable. The whiskey in become, general. They, it's going to go down. They price, yeah, they price yeah, themselves out because, so, you know, an entry level with burb, or scotch is like 50 bucks. Except for you know, like the the, the blind sarks. So a single malt, fifty bucks getting in the door. Bourbons, thirty bucks for a good bourbon. I, I mean, figure. I figure by the time that the market bottoms out and scotch is cheap again, I'll have my new liver. We'll be good. Hey, to go. Exactly. <laughs> so, Travis, you make a good point. People. Travis, you made a good point. Hey guys, I, that is a new record tonight, so it's time to hit this. Wheelhouse. I'm very curious to know what happens with the new record. Hey, if you're not doing it yet, hit the like button for us. It really helps Thumbs us. Up. Thank so, you. Whatever. So, anyway, we want to talk about what you brought to show, uh, Tom. And I, I left my glass empty that? so that I could try a little bit of this. No. We um, brought it over to look at, but now we can't taste it? Are we going to do the Jim Beam first? my Caden Hits bottle hanger that I picked up. Yeah, we're going to drink some um, We're opening all kinds of stuff tonight. Wild Turkey 101. 
Hey, that's his next stuff. I know it is. That's what I like me some good. turkey 101. Yeah. Yeah. Gobble. We go through that. I thought you were being sarcastic. I'm like, we go through that. We go so, through that one. Can, can I push this in front? Yes, you can, Tom. Tom, this one's for you. Tom, where are you? Where are this you? This one is what Boom. Mike is referring to as Poor Man's Pappy. Poor Man's Pappy. Poor Man's Pappy. What so is tell that? Us, tell us how to make that. I this. am going to discuss. Good looking picture right Give there. Give us a recipe. My recipe, which I got off plenty of sites, people make it a bunch of different ways. The internet. But Mike makes the, it this way. The internet is always great. Thanks to Tom R. Is it safe? Thank you. It's going to blow up? It should be just fine. <laughs> it should be. Uh, I just can't guarantee it. As you aim it towards me. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't know what I'm doing with this. I don't want to be what disfigured. To well, well, well is happy. 40%. Weller 12. 40% Weller 12. And 60% Weller 107 antique. Tell me you had a pipette and you were super accurate about this. I used actually a scale. Oh! <laughs> so, I am so proud of him. Yeah. I am so proud of you. Dork! Him. That is the one way to do it. You at least had a smoking jacket on too, right? Yes. yes. That is the, the clinical <laughs> method of doing scale. that. By weight, not by volume. I used Much five, more accurate. Five, Call the New York Times, Bob. We hit 60. So. I, I hope so. I love your mind. All right, so I'm right. not a bourbon guy, but I've got to see what Mike's up to here. So I'm going to try Mike it. added some fireball to make it his own. <laughs> <laughs> no. Chicken, fireball. Chicken cock. Oh. It's Hellboy. spicy. Hellboy. Little Hellboy. Hellboy. All right, so, so. I'm just... Smells good. You call it but poor man's pappy, but tell me, what's pappy. the price on, on both these bottles that you mixed here? Retail? Yeah. Yeah, retail. So, Retail's probably about 35 retail for the 12 and about 30 for the 107. Okay, so... Realistically? So realistic. Although, like a Weller 12, yeah. 750, people are trying to do 110, yeah. which is absolute... Stop doing that. If you stop doing that, okay, this needs to burn off. The price bit. will come back. What's the ABV on? What's the ABV? On? People, it's a it's a cross between um, 107 proof, ooh, and then the Weller 12, I believe. So figure this out, Andrew. It's 60 percent 107 proof and 40 percent 43. Proof. I'm just gonna taste it and I'll tell you. 80. <laughs> do the numbers, Andrew. I just need to calculate. How do you do it? Oh, but off it's supposed it to be... Sounds like about 48. That's probably pretty close. <laughs> so it's <laughs> it smells. 60%, what is that? 107. 107. I love that you're just banging this out. Uh-oh. We're good. 43 Uh-oh. or 40? I think, you know what, I just want to say that... Say, we'll 12, 40, I, streaming 40. is a bitch. <laughs> I'll drink to that. I'll drink to that, right? Streaming is a bitch. Drew spends his whole show back here trying to make sure that everything is cool. It, it just we have these little farts that come up with streaming nine, that has you know I don't know what it is. Upload has an issue nine, or whatever, but just one, hang with us. Hopefully it's right. all good. It's not, it looks like it's okay now. The it's, rest I can, of my, I can smell the rest of my twelve twirl. has been finished quite a while. Ago. Ah, it smells pretty good. So it, I don't I don't have any more. Well, you think about that, bourbon guy. So. That's pretty good. I'll be, you know what? I'll be your guinea pig on your first first episode. I'm um, bourbon. And oh, I'm doing that wrong. Okay. That's real good. Shenanigan. I love it. I feel like there's a calculator online that could have already had this done. Well, I'm not do- I'm doing. I I feel like he should have had it on the label. What kind of half-assed job? <laughs> and you know what's gonna be awesome? If it's 48. <laughs> You just sold a bunch more coins. Everybody's like, I want that Mars Pen. Because he drinks scotch and he knows, he knows things. And this was bottled 3818. Ah. Put it on the bottom. See, it's that code you got to put into the website so I, to figure it so out. I, so I created Heck this yeah. on 3818. Oh, God. Did you say it was 105? 107. Well, that's an interesting question. So Antique 107. What's the question? How many songs do you know to perform at any given time? Who? Plenty. Me. I would say three. I would say all of them. <laughs> I can well, play a lot. It, it, it's definitely somewhere between three and all of them. 
No less than three. <laughs> no less than three I, at any given time. I feel like uh, anytime we would call a song out, Drew would probably be able. Put to it this way: out. I can play a song after hearing it for about five seconds. Like That's true. That's very true. If pretty, he doesn't know it, he figures it out in ten seconds. If he da-da-da-da. can't hear it, five seconds. If he can't da-da-da-da. hear it. <laughs> Just, yeah. Been doing it all my life. Anyway, this he, is about squatch. It, it may depend on how often he's paying. Maybe my next point will have already answered. Yeah. That's a good Thank point. You. So this seems false. So hundred point two. I'm counting up to three thousand four hundred point two. What are you talking That's about? That's what Tom said. It, uh, this what, if uh, Tom said it, it's it's right. It, yeah. yeah, I'll, I'll trust him. That's pretty close. I'd say forty eight. Hundred point two. <laughs> it's pretty short. So fifty point. It's about fifty percent. It's it's tasty. It's it, 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 it really is tasty. I gotta I gotta so give you that. Yeah, it's, right. uh, <laughs> yeah. it's not forty eight. Because because you thought I'm it was forty. I'm not bourbon guy. It's it's See, five. Eric gives you the exact formula right there. It's length and times that's what, diameter. That's the weird thing. I was typing that in. Length like, times like, diameter plus width plus width plus times girth. girth. The curve is what screwed it up. I'm, 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 I'm actually remembering to spell your name correctly. Tom says before. it's 100.2 proof. I screw That's his right. name up yeah. every time. That seems legit. Oh it's my god. E R I T. I got it, but my boss's Eric name is E R I C K. It's like. Whatever. Anyway. The European spelling of Eric is E R I Q. Tom says I drink, I know things. Yes. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> Damn right. So, so what, are we, what are we getting? Bourbon? What, what are we uh, getting? <laughs> <laughs> What are we, we get getting a little bourbon, bourbon on this. What do you get on the nose? So, Come on, we're talking about this. This is like a, a custom-made bottle. It, it's, I, I mean, yes, it smells like bourbon, but not. it's not it over-the-top corn to me. It's not like punching your face mm, super no. sweet. Um, no. It's still got that wood. I'll be honest with you. It reminds me of Bal Blair 90. <laughs> It does still have that wood, Mike. It's it's know. it's a stiff one. You know, you know. I'm out. There's a lot of wood. But you know what? The funny thing is, one of the first things I got. The wheels come off this quick. I'm one, coming one, back to take over because I need to get. One it. of the first things I got was um, the um, like a red hot cinnamon. Which so when when it's in put you put fireball in there I'm like wait a minute uh, honestly it, don't it's, you not give me that that oh, like, yeah. red hot yeah, yeah. Kind of it's got a nice uh, a, a oh, spicy yeah, yeah. yeah it's, spice. a, it's a king yeah. spice you might look go take the seat All right, you guys go up front all right I'm keep talking keep talking I'm just you know assuming wait is this position. game just me <laughs> and Andrew what's I'm, going on I'm not sure I'm, I'm assuming this position because I don't think you're doing the nope sorry guys sorry for blocking actually maybe point should have gone around the other way you can run the all right I can run how do you, you have the helm. You're not wearing a red shirt, yeah. so you get to stay. So keep talking about the bourbon. It's all good. I, did, I just want to get. So I can't, so I can't honestly, yeah, I like it. It's, it's pretty nice glass. Yeah, I mean, so I think it, it, it's supposed to mimic the 15, the Pappy 15, but have you had the Pappy 15? I've never had the. So. <laughs> you know what I like about this but is it's, that it's it tastes well, obviously, but it doesn't have that potent bourbon, whatever that bourbon thing is, that flavor I always get. Corn. It's, I guess it's corn. That's it sweet. Is. It is. It doesn't. It doesn't have that potency. I agree that. with you. It's a, it's a light. I can. I can, It's there, but it's not like punch me in the mouth. I just picked up a bottle of something else, and I might have to bring that next week. Okay. I like that. And Cherry that cough gonna, gonna kick your It's gonna ass. punch me in the face. Yeah, it's oh, that sweetness. It's cola. It'll, it, it's yeah. it'll kick yeah. everybody in the face. The oak and leather is what I'm getting out of it too. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Totally getting leather and. For sure. It's it's nice, man. You did a good job. I, I'm actually drinking that glass of that. It's pretty good. I'm I am not a big fan of bourbon. It's just, it's my my problem is it, it, bourbon has it, it is so restrictive on the barreling and the bill mat or the mash bill that it, it it's very restrictive. So I don't have my palate isn't sensitive enough to really differentiate that much between different bourbons. I agree. I, I think if you problem. tasted more, uh, probably, exactly, you're right. you would probably you just be haven't able been enlightened. To. Yeah, no, I, I had a lot of bourbons, obviously. So <laughs> well, your thing. I, that's your my thing. Your shenanigans. But I think my no, problem with the whole not. thing, which is like I watch a bunch of videos, everybody knows it. Mm-hmm. I watch all their lives, I watch a ton of stuff. But um, when they start naming off things that they're smelling, I just think to myself, well, I've never actually smelled put that. my nose on that. So, I've never smelled so like <laughs> yeah, cream corn. <laughs> I've never smelled cream corn before. I've smelled cream I know. I'm just as an example. As an example. But um, 
Like uh, cutting off your bowling fingers. Yeah. <laughs> like I listened to somebody review something and it was very high in leather, like old leather, and they're like the way they're describing it is more like a horse barn saddle leather. <laughs> I'm like that's what's that, cool about this. Yeah, that's why I love watching that stuff. Uh-huh. I love seeing yeah, that. That's and saying it's money. Oh my god. It's relationship. What does it it's, it's, what does that I want to know what that smells what, like. What and you I'm, grew up with and yeah. jars that memory. So if saying. I pick up what they're drinking and that has that, I'm like, yeah. this must be what they're but if smelling. If you never grew up in the barn or ever smelled yeah. that, you would so, never get that out of it. Yeah, yeah, so there's a lot of smells out there that I will say I've that, never uh, actually isolated. Yeah. That to, well, to because you don't have a you don't have a olfactory memory of maybe that of that of that thing. specific event yeah. yeah so i will say that and bourbon that. is tough matrix. because there are fewer variables that they can alter you know you can alter the proof you can alter how long it sits in the barrel you know i mean there's a few things that you can do whereas scotch there's a, a, a lot more oh, totally. and i think you get a lot more variation in flavor profile because of that you know mm-hmm. bourbon I mean, I can differentiate between different bourbons, and I can go through them, and I, I sure. enjoy them. I started out, you know, drinking a lot of bourbon. Mm-hmm. Um, but to me, they, I don't want to say they get unidimensional, but they good. they hit they, a wall they, they tend, on what they can do. They tend to kind of be like in, in a, 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 a row like this, as far as, from what my experience so far, yeah. whereas scotch can, is a lot wider. Well, you've got to go into new oak, so you don't have right. any of the casking that, we, that you can do with scotch. Right. You've got to have 51% corn. So yeah. now, granted, most scotches are, bu- are single malt, so or malt. So yeah, that um, yeah, a little bit. So and you know, so that that casking is, I think, what really differentiates it. Now you have different aging, and the aging of bourbons, and especially in Kentucky, are so much faster than um, than scotches. So that you know, the question is, and, and the, the aging is different in that your proof goes up and you're really interacting with the barrel, probably more aggressively in a barrel, um, in a bourbon, especially Kentucky bourbon, than you would in, in scotch. I mean, the, uh, uh, I mean, arguably, the interaction with the barrel in Scotland is pretty weak because the, the temperature doesn't change much. Bourbon is what you drink when you don't want to waste good scotch. <laughs> wow. I'll do that. Oh, come on. I gotta Who say, Julian wow. Potts. <laughs> nice. Comment. All right. So you guys ready to get into this? Yes. What's going on? You're MCing. All right. So, All right. Um, Whoa, look at that. Let me hit enter over here and, and talk to the folks. I need you guys you to shut turn that off so out. you can't see comments. You're blind enough where you can't read those comments. That's all right. right. Well, you might want this. Okay, yeah, turn it a little bit. So, so I need to put my bourbon away? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's up to you. Yeah. Basically, you like uh, what I've got here for you guys, and they can all hear this as I'm talking to you. Right. Kind of getting it. I poured these three. They're all from my bar at home, so that you guys are clued in a little bit uh, as to what, because oh, we obviously you. talk about it. Um, a little sample. Box. But anyway, uh, I poured them so you guys really shouldn't be able to tell the color. You, I, I want you... I only had three color glasses. I, I couldn't come up with nine. So you guys are going to have to pass it around the, the horn. Give a good nose on it. Talk about them. There's going to be a lot of similarities. I want you guys to try to compare and contrast them, figure out the differences, the, 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 what's, what's not similar. Um, and then I also want you guys to kind of rank them, okay? So each one has a star on it. You'll see there's a gold star, a silver star, and a green star. Okay, and I've, I've got my notes here on what's what. Um, I've got the details on each one of them as well, but um, I'm going to give them to you in a certain order and for a specific reason. I'll, I'll you know, let you guys in on that later. I will talk to you guys via chat here as these guys get working on, on oh, smelling boy. them and talking them. Um, be vocal. Talk to the cam. T- talk to the guy. Yeah, right, sure. watching. So, so we're just talking about what we're... What the flavor profile? Yep. We, we're not okay. guessing what it is. We don't have any idea yeah. what they are. You can guess what you want if you if you want. Maybe at the end you guys can guess. Yeah. Hold, hold the guesses until then. But um, are you want us? To I want you guys to regions talk. Regions or whatever. We'll talk through it all. We'll just talk through it. We'll talk through all that. Right. Okay. So basically, it's completely and utterly blind. I, I I do want to know which one you guys prefer. Well, uh, you know, second, first, second, third place, or whatnot. Well, and Which we'll one's a Port there. Allen? I'll start with that. <laughs> yeah, right. So I'm going to start off with the gold, right? Me too. I'll, just, I'll put it right here. And you know what? I'm going to start with what hands. This is it's, I, since it's your coin. It's my wheelhouse coin. It's awesome. your wheelhouse coin. So there you go. Coin 32, start by the way. Start this off. Um, you could have this coin. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it is. Mama <laughs> wants to know if it's pretzel time yet. Yeah. She She's does. staring at me. Mm. She's ready for it. So I'm getting seaweed. I'm getting... 
Yeah, not too much brine. Talus car already then. Yeah, that's that's a good nose. You can like that. Or I, I like the color. <laughs> <laughs> it's really dark. I love my scotch that dark. Man. Eric Wade wants to know if you guys are going to bring coins to Kansas. Yes. Absolutely. Yes, we yes, will be bringing coins. Yes, we're, we we're working on t-shirts, we're working they on would. polo shirts, we're working on caps as well. All that. Polo shirts? Then we're getting new shirts. Yeah, tell Lexi Sean says he wants the Port Ellen. Wrong wine tasting, buddy. Oh. <laughs> you signed up for the wrong one. My bad. It I, smells I, it's, it's not hot. Port. It's Come not on hot now. on the nose, but there's a lot of flavor in that. A lot of nose, a lot of I, you can sip it. my extra thirty-two fifty. While they're doing that, just want to announce that Telex is going to go live after us. Okay. So yeah. Everybody from here, let's put the shoot over there. Already. Yeah. I'm not getting the seaweed you were getting though. Really? I get the iodine though. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm getting. I'm, okay. Tasting would definitely help. It. Well, me, if you guys want to taste it first, or you oh, want yeah, to smell all three, do you want to taste them first? No, I, well, I, I, I want to nose them all first, and then nose them all first. Okay, so the next one I want you to go know for. And then we're supposed to rank these in order? Yeah, I, I, as mm. how you Now I'm getting them. earthy, yeah. Okay. Um, I, I think I have, I have an idea on that. But I honestly yeah, don't know if you guys are going to rank them the same. Little... It'll be interesting to see how you do that. So this one is the green. That's the next one up. Burnt toast? Or you should start this one. All right. Alrighty, Hoagie Bear. Hoagie Bear's taking off. Good to see, see you, Hoagie. Hoagie. Been a blast. Take care. Have a great this weekend. This is the same genre. You, will, you too, man. Yeah? It's no, it's different. you think? No, same but different. It is an Isla, but it's it's, it's a different nose, and I more, think, more of a step, brother. Um, yeah. So this is I got, when I read nose that that's definitely earthier than that one is. That one's more briny, uh, to me. Hmm. This smells like Lafroy. Really? Probably yeah. closer to me. Yeah, that's what I would think. This it's gonna be interesting. This smells like this quarter cast. This, this smells more Lagavulin-ish to me, but that's just based on what I'm hitting here. Ish. <laughs> as long as it was typically that, super peaty yeah it's got it's earthiness like and it's got that all that first goodness. one smells more peaty than that one to me it's the same distillery all right, let's you think so out. you think it's the same distillery yeah. I don't think so all right I think it's number like, three I think it's um, okay so the last one is the silver star and it's up to you buddy that's a Port Allen right there. <laughs> Will you quit doing this? <laughs> See, oh, the, you're, you're dreaming. This is this the only is, person has Port uh, Port Allen is KB right now. I think. Dog. Dude, this is this is one where you need to have all three glasses side by side, and you need to because they are all in the same. I got news for you. When I was looking at that list of those top ten scotches, I was like, you know how many bottles of Port Allen I could buy with that kind of money? That's like uh, two, not. but I drink them both. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know any of my real estate? These are not the same distillery. Dude, they are not. No, they're not. And so this is earthy and mm. heavy. This is lighter and crisper, cleaner. All right, which one do we got to taste first? Gold first, right? It's up to you. Gold, 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 gold green. Not the way you want. Gold, green, silver. They're, he, he heavy poured it, man, too. Mm, I like that he put one on the bottom, too. It's like a tramp stamp on the bottom so you can see what's up. <laughs> Just in case you come up from behind. It's going to be hard because he's probably got an SMWS bottle in there. And we're like, mm, which one's that one? Mm. Mm. Ooh. I do have a couple of those at home. That's really good. I've got about yeah. three or four uh, SMWS bottles. That's like bottles mellow. I'm getting a little this chocolate on it. Um. It's you got are, a nice earthy. The order I like again, like brown, a gold, brownie, like a good chocolate green, brownie. Okay. It's that order. Mm. But it's still peaty. It's still rich. Oh, Travis, uh, it's got a nice vanilla lady. finish. On the <laughs> that's, what's, that's why it tastes like brownie. Yeah, oh, I love that. They that's better. nice. That is a good, good glass. Which one are you talking about? I don't care about? who it is. The uh, gold. gold star. I mean, that's light. Gold star. Ooh. Light. A little bit of. I don't think they're SMWS because it doesn't. It's not cask strength. Gold or green. Gold. This is not. What Let's I go with the green. This is. <laughs> said, this is not what I expect. So we're we're going to which is next. No, what, green. green. No. I, I need to pour myself something to drink no. while you guys are donking around with this. That's really good. That is not a normal bottle of Isla that I think of. This is this is SMWS. You should open up a bottle that we haven't opened yet. Uh, I'm not messing with that. That'd be great. Is that that Balvini? Yeah, that's, that's fine. We, no, talk we about haven't that talked about it yet. You know, I'll, I'll hang on. I'll, I'll just stick with something we have. We have. Just go on. Just open up that bottle. What's up there on the shelf? I'm gonna let, the let them talk first because I'm, <laughs> I haven't tasted them first, and I'm yeah, no, we haven't reviewed it though. Maybe coloring their image. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the 
finish going out. Okay, this one is a, a nice, smoky, slightly peat, um, very smooth. I, I mean, like just really yeah. low. Yeah. It's not. It's not the select. Select's weaker than this. Yeah. It's not the sixteen. It's not a Laphroaig. It's it's something there though, but it's it's really nice. It's not something I've, I, I don't even recall. This one's really different. Would you like now to that I taste it? it? Yeah, you guys want to throw so, some so water? So describe it what it is. I think you, you all need to agree to put water it, on it. It's almost like salty briny, and then it, it fades out into like a cotton candy. But it's not a, like when I nosed it, it smelled like quarter cask, but um, it, it doesn't taste like quarter cask. I don't know what that is. This is the silver. Hmm. This smells nice too. I think that's a young. That's that may be castrating. Because there was a lot of heat on that. Yeah, there was. That was nice. Ooh, that's good too. Now the interesting thing about this is, yeah, I, like I would that. say this is a low ABV though. I mean, yes, like, yes. But Islas are they normally at least eight forty six? No, it doesn't. I don't. There's a rule. Select does not. I know that. Um, <clears throat> that's got some heat, man. That brings the thunder. That's castrating, but that's. That one, this is not. Nice. No, I don't think so. That one almost feels like it needs to open up a little bit. It's pretty tight. I, yeah, I'm not getting as much out of it as I as you I thought. You may need water to that one. But you know what's funny? I didn't I didn't get that alcohol on the nose at all. No, what, I didn't. on this on that one? Yeah, oh, no. no kidding. No it, it, kidding. It, it didn't smell until I took a taste. I didn't realize that it was that high of proof. I should have gone through this for you. I haven't compared all three. <laughs> well, that's not a. Fair. All right. Yeah, I need a. Do I have a glass? No, I don't have a glass of man. Sorry. Hmm. All right. So I'm gonna go around right. again. Let's hit the gold star again. We're coming after that that so, cast strength. This is gonna be tough. So we just need to rank these in in our personal preference order. Is that what we're going for? Yeah. All right. You put some curveballs in here. Yeah. I'm ready. Somebody asked about the Game of Thrones whiskeys. Yes. Yeah, those are coming out. Mm. I, I like this one. Johnny Walker has the released best. it the 9th of May. So that okay, that's so deadened on. after drinking that castor. So Sean, you're it's saying Sean, so good. what are you saying here, buddy? <clears throat> I gotta I gotta try this oh, wow. again. That one's it deadens it. Up. So after drinking the cast drink, drinking that, it, it really it's, deadens the flavor. It's but but it's because of the cast drink. Because it's of the cast drink. Like the cast drink. The, the silver. The, uh, the silver is much higher. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the the um, silver oh, ones and I'm gonna no, no, no. I'm gonna go Someone's through coming. it. Someone's and coming. Dude, they they called it out and I've been saying this in there. It got blocked by us and I had to show it. I had to let it release it and I just had to let it. <laughs> Julian. Who said it? Julian Potts. But it's all good. She missed the, the fact that I've already told you know put on the comments what they were. So she was guessing as well, which is I cool. I go back here and figure out what's going on. Right. This is. Green. That was the second one. Yeah, that was the second one. Actually, all right, this is weird because now that I'm taking a second taste after hitting that cast drink, totally changes the flavor profile of everything. So silver is the cast drink. The, the green the is actually kind of nice now. That's the cast drink. Mm -hmm. You think? Mm -hmm. Totally. Oh, I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's much stronger. All right. So that's why I'm going to taste that one. I'm going to get get everything I can out of it mm -hmm. and then go back to the other one because it's not it's not fair. Um, you ready? So, Hell yeah, I'm ready. All right, what I'm do you got? Take. So I'm going to take, uh, surprisingly enough, when I first tried them, I really liked the gold. It had a deep flavor profile. <clears throat> um, okay. I, I just really got a lot out of it. After hitting the, the cask strength one, the silver... It deadened that one out, and I just didn't get... I got some of the sweet, but I didn't get any of the smoky, peaty stuff that I was getting before. And so that richness and that flavor profile just kind of dropped off. Okay. So these uh, green one, which was the second one we tried, that one had like a, a briny profile, and it, it finished out as like a vanilla. and it, But it seemed a little bit tight. And after drinking the cast drink, then that one opened up a little bit, and I really enjoyed that one too. <laughs> um, the cask drink one, I think, is still a little tight. I, I think I would probably have to put a little water on it to to Does really get it to it? open up and, and see on. what's up. Well, I didn't want to. It's only one glass. I don't want to be that guy. No, but we all. But, do you, you want to put water on the the cast drink? Yeah, because oh, I'm, I'm afraid it's burning. It's burning my palate. I might get in the finish. Well, yeah. that's the part I like. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly! <laughs> 
It's just yeah. a splash, man. I was gonna say I got. I got no, some no, no, that, 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 no. Too much. I got more. No, there's, no, there's still a lot. There's in a there. bunch in here. There's a lot in there. Okay. Well, good. I might have might might try. A few so, <laughs> I I honestly I, I think now that I've I want to put some water on this just to see, but as of right now, I'm going green, silver, gold. Green, silver, gold. Okay. So I'm gonna go. Um, I don't know yet. <laughs> so, so initially, I, I like the gold better. It's 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 better rounded. It is it is low ABV, admittedly. It's got it's got a well it's well balanced. You get some sweetness and browning it, brownie coming out. You get a good peat finish, a good smoke finish. The gold was it tasted young. It tasted um, a little not harsh, but just not not rounded out together. Um, and I need to add water to it. To the, Try to it now. The, to the I mean, it's, it brought out some of the sweet notes. It's still not a deep flavor profile that I was thinking it would get, get more to. More brine, though. More yeah. Seaweed. It's got a nice cake quality now, too. So why did you pick the... Mm. Sean, why did you pick that, that order? Why did I pick that order? To be honest with you, I thought water? that the, it was odd because the way higher ABV whiskey... Mm. Totally changed the flavor profile of the other two. It did. Um, Probably not fair. It, it may not be fair, uh, because originally the gold was hands down my favorite. I thought that the green one just tasted kind of briny salty, and I didn't really get a whole lot other than that. And then after drinking the cask strength, it kind of opened up a little bit and broadened <laughs> itself out. So, I, I mean, and it may just be the cask strength whiskey... Dude, that you know, influencing fine. this. I told you that there was going to be an influence on that part. I, and at least, I don't know if I mentioned to you guys, but I definitely told people um, that are watching that, you know, there is a difference in ABVs and that, that would change things and that's going to play into this. Yeah, and, and it definitely does. Um, the, the silver, uh, I liked the cask strength, obviously, because it's cask strength. Um, but it's still, even with the water, feels a little bit tight. Okay. And it, it doesn't have quite Dude. the flavor profile that I would want to see, I think. The gold one, it was good, but the lower ABV just totally compared to the other two just didn't didn't hold up. So I, I and I think that it's a good whiskey. I think if I was drinking it just by itself, I'd probably really enjoy it. But compared to those two, right. I, I think that the higher ABV just kind of washed it out a little bit and took something away from it. Drew, uh, I'm with Sean. I like the green and the silver than gold. I, I think everything he said is spot on. I think. I thought the gold was a little more at the select, uh, lager volume select, um, and it was a little weak, weaker than I liked. Um, I think it's interesting because the, they were all three very similar, though, for me. I'm not getting different distilleries from these guys, but I'm getting some mixture. I, I think, honestly, uh, if I was to throw some stuff out there, I don't know what SWS you have out there, but I think you threw a lager volume 16 and two SWSs out there for us. That's, that's my guess. I feel like Mark's got a secret vault of stuff at home. I do. I got a bunch of them. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> I had to go for two. The bunker. Uh, the bunker. Yeah. There's a bunker. Well, there's a lot. There's a lot more know about. about. I mean, I think the. the I don't blame you. I wouldn't want us getting into there either. No. There's a sign hanging above the door. It says, "Stay the f out." <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like a velociraptor in that place, man. <laughs> uh, what, are you, what are you guys gonna guess on anything? You see the one, and then the other one comes in from the side. And you think a lot of the What do you guys got? I don't know. I don't know the brands. I mean, I honestly, I, what, what's good. your order here, Andrew? We got. We're getting close to our time. We got Telex coming on. Yeah. Right? So the uh, the silver, I think, may be my favorite because I know. Really? Well, yes. it's it's tough because it, the silver is when you added the water, it got way better. It, I, I was allowed to to taste the. Um, it's, there's not a lot of sweetness in there, but you're able to pull out more flavors, of, more vanilla, some things out of it, because you're not burning through that. Would you be able to do that with the other ones, though? No. So that that's the thing. Um, the gold, I, I tend to agree. The gold has a lot of richness, a lot of it, it's got more broad flavors into it. The um, the yellow, while we thought it was originally really good, when you combine them, compared to all these, it's a little bit more one-dimensional after you've had the, the high ABV. Um, I think I'm going to go silver green gold, even silver though that's opposite green. of what I originally thought. 
Yeah, me too. I totally had picked gold as the top rated one based on the nosing. And yeah. then on once we tasted them, the, the ABV totally changed. The, the flavor, that. yeah, then I should probably go back and re nose them. But you can I feel like Mark should have okay. gotten the pipette right, out and got them all so, the same ABV. Out of curiosity, this this is, we'll start off with ABVs, right? So, <clears throat> ABVs, you've got the gold ABV was 43%. That's why I put you that one, that one first. It was yeah, the weakest. It was 40, lowest. 43%. Yeah. Green was 48%. And gold was fifty six point five percent. Or silver, yes. Yeah. So we, we were pretty accurate. You, on that. you were accurate on yeah. the on the ABVs. Now, what you you said uh, one long and two SMWS bottles. You got a guess as to what this is? Obviously, it's an Isla. You know what? I, I, I'm guessing one Lagavulin, maybe a, a Lafroig. And I'm not sure about the last one. And SMWS, maybe a Kilhoman even, potentially. Um, okay. And then a uh, Lagerville, maybe. <laughs> this is, you just, Moose is young, Pete wins. Um, so what you have is the gold, the first one you had at 43%, is Lagerville in 16. Uh, I knew it was out there. 43%, Lagerville in 16, that's the, the standard. The that. green, which is 48%, is Lagerville in 8 Damn. No kidding. Yep. The 8 1 or the 6 silver is 56.5%, log of 1 12. 12. Really? So they're all three log of 1. I did say they were all the same. 8 12, 12 16. 16. Yep. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, obviously the 16 is their core range. That's the core bottling. That's the one. I mean, that's right. my favorite log, right? So yeah, I wanted to see what how the 8 and the 12 measure up. I knew that, that the, the, the 8 I knew the 16 was out there. I thought it was a green. Right. You were a little bit off. I heard you say that. But it was. I wanted to see, this is the same distillery. Put the same distillate, you know. It, well, interesting, though, because I, I, I but felt you know what's like they funny? were log of the ones. But, I, but SMWS is, they're, I, they can throw all kinds of little I, I can tell you right now that if they were all at the same ABV, that would totally change everything. Yeah, that that's the thing that I, I, unfortunately. Really, so, blind tasting, we're learning. We don't know anything what's what's going on here. I think oh, that I don't know about that. that, that to some extent, that bur that burned our palate out, and and changed the way these work. Um, Fifty-six you know, is a big jump. So so our initial review on the uh, Light Bloom Sixteen, it was rich. It was brownie cake. I mean, all this kind of flavor. Well, and that's what I got out, out of it. First. In the start, but then it gets burned out by the higher ABV, and you can't get to all that stuff. Yeah, so the, so if you're running a tasting, you know, and that's why brand ambassadors do this. They have a, a, a set prescription on how they run it, how they run their, their flavor profiles to not influence necessarily the downstream tasting. Yeah, which, I mean, yep. this definitely showed that. Yes, it did. It was interesting on the nosing versus the palate. I, this was a fun little right, exercise. So what are, what are that we was missing? good. There's a lot of fun comments, man. People are really laughing about this. Hoagie signed off 15 minutes ago. He couldn't walk away because we were. he knew what we were doing. He's like, oh, man, you were really doing this? He's like, this is a great head-to-head. -head. He's still on. He's like, I can't look away. <laughs> so so what, what was the... We are like a 12-year-old blind room cast That's right. So the eight was the winner, I think. No, I, well, I... I Chose the yeah, so if but I yeah, look at it was guys, that's scary. scary. What was the comment? Um, so Sean and Drew both went with the eight year first. Um, Which is Andrew funny. Andrew went with the 12 year first. 16 All three lost. of you went with 16 last. Wow. With the proviso that I did say I thought that this one had the depth of flavor, and if we were just drinking a single glass, that would have been the one that I you would have said. That. You did say that. But. And so I think that the ABV really threw it off. I mean, it's hard to really judge those whiskeys. You know, 43 versus 56, that's a big uh, it, step up it, it, in it, base pay right there. So, Absolutely. Yeah, so the, let, let's talk about that. So I think the reason the 8 won out is because when you burn your palate with a high ABV, those bright young flavors are now the only flavors you get with the other ones. So the, the, so the Ludwig 16, deeper, richer, more subtle differences... If you burn your palate with a 57%, 56.5, okay. yeah. yeah. now all you get are those bright, rich, crisp flavors from the young scotch. Yep. And, right. no, and, and so that's why we 
continue to like this one over those. Well, it's interesting though because I've seen a lot of reviewers, and every one of I think even Roy is a huge Lager Volant Eight fan. I mean, it just it's a really really okay. good Scotch. So I mean, they do a good job with it. Yeah, yeah. they've done a good job yeah. with that bottle. Well, I think the forty eight percent is is really kind of pr closer to the the, the optimal ABV that Lager Volant yeah. should be served at. So um, interestingly, right? I mean, I feel like I was pretty good as far as the same distillery, but I you know I was trying to go in this open minded, but I knew you were going to throw some stuff out there. As far as of course, course, he had to, right. yeah. And I, and I was, obviously, I knew kind of your S M W S, you know, affair. Right. You, you know, know I've got a couple of them all So I, I, was, I was thinking you'd throw those in there, so I couldn't get past that. Yeah. But um, it, if I would have thought, if I would have had no idea what you would have done, I may have actually been to the Lager Bullen range, because I was close. I felt like I was really close. You were close, yeah. I mean, you picked the Lager Bullen to some of them. Well, Wh which one did you pick as Lager Bullen 16? I, I picked the 8 as a 16. It oh. was the, it was the, I uh, thought... I thought the the sixteen was Lagavulin. I thought the eight was Lafroy. To be honest with you, Coricast, so was young and Coricast no, because yeah. it's got uh, that's what I got. The sweetness out of it, out of it. Yeah. Twelve. Yeah. So yeah, and this one, the cast strength, I just wasn't sure because the, the ABV was so high that I just couldn't. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't could tell get that, through that it. At, when we, whatever you water you put in there, it really it richened it richened. Yeah, that's a word. word. Richard, that's where it is. And it really brought out a lot more of those flavors that I was that I was looking for, and it didn't it didn't burn me so much. And I could tell that there's more more still there. Hey, bef before I sign off, I did this earlier quickly. But um, I'm not sure if Bob's still on or not. But he took a cool picture. Oh yeah. Point. I want to put that out there. Bob was uh, traveling in Italy this past yeah. week, and uh, he nice. sent me this picture. <laughs> so, Thank you for which, not having us to actually, censor the If video. you're following us on Twitter or Instagram, over the course of the next week, I'm going to introduce a whole new series, um, Pictures from Scotland. Uh, KB's been in Scotland That's a big for the coin. past two weeks, and uh, right? he's been sending me pictures. It's like a baby's arm. Forever, so, yeah. uh, be on the look out for that. But we are putting into Telex's time. Oh, all right. Guys, thanks for being good sports. Um, it was fun, Mark. Oh, that's cool, man. Thanks for good Appreciate it. I think this will Coin be a, 30. Um, Two. Maybe they were all these glasses. Maybe going forward, this will be something we'll, we'll start doing more often. It was really fun. It was fun. It's just something different. Throw a little bit of curveball. Everybody's uh, like curious it. out there. So go check Telex out, you guys, if you've got yeah. the time. Telex. Uh, we will see you all next Thursday. See Thanks, guys. guys. Take care.